Let's look at the structure of the ear and explain how we detect sound. So first of all, the outer ear is called the pinna and it acts a little bit like a satellite whereby it funnels the sound waves that your ear receives and it sends them along the auditory canal. At the end of the auditory canal, you have an eardrum and the sound waves travelling along the auditory canal cause the eardrum to vibrate. The vibrating eardrum is connected to three small bones within the inner ear called the ossicles and they're made up of the hammer, the anvil and the stirrup. And these small ear bones vibrate and pass on the vibrations to the, to the next region of the ear. This includes the semicircular canals which are involved in balance but important for sound is the cochlea. So the ossicles transfer the vibrations to the cochlea which is filled with fluid and the vibrations from the ossicles cause movement in this fluid and within the cochlea there are tiny hair cells that detect the movement of this fluid within the cochlea and these receptor cells send electrical signals up the auditory nerve to the brain and the brain then translates those electrical signals, those nerve impulses, into sound. The loudness of sound is measured in decibels. Conversation at home could be around 50 decibels and conversation in a restaurant could perhaps be 60 decibels. Every increase of 10 decibels means the sound is 10 times louder. Sounds over 70 decibels can be annoying and continued exposure over long periods can damage your hearing. So a vacuum cleaner, some of them can be around 70 decibels but going beyond that you've got a truck for example at 40 miles an hour which would be around 80 decibels, so 10 times louder and a plane taking off can be around 100 decibels. So that would be a hundred times louder than the truck. Workers exposed to loud noises for prolonged periods should wear ear protection. Sounds at 120 decibels or above can cause instant hearing damage. So for example, loud bangs and explosions can cause instant damage. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.